Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, I have been away from the channel for roughly about a month and a half so far, and I'm truly sorry. I did post up a video talking about why I have not been here on the channel, and I want to um, explain more why I haven't been here on the channel, because I've been missing the channel, my friends, uh, but I'm bright. Right now I'm in the backyard here at the RC Park, just kind of looking over it and seeing what needs to be done this week with it, trimming it up and stuff like that. But, uh, so yeah, a lot of things have been happening. Um, so back in uh, April, I was involved in a car wreck, uh, which it tore up the work truck, but didn't really tear me up too bad. Uh, then in April, no, actually May 1st, I was hired to photograph a wedding because uh, one of my other hobbies that I like doing, as I you know enjoy doing my RC, is doing photography. I like going out and taking pictures and stuff like that. And uh, one of my RC buddies, his son was getting married, and he was like, Chris, I want you to photograph the wedding for us. And I was like, well, it's not the type of photography I like doing. I'm mostly into landscape fine art photography and doing modeling shoots and stuff like that that's the kind of stuff i'm into but i was like yeah for you i'll do it you know um so you know i did that and uh between me and my assistant we shot right about 668 pictures and i had to go through all 668 of those pictures not counting the video footage i took as well but I had to go through all those pictures, pull out the ones that I wanted to use that I thought was good to uh, edit. And so I started doing the editing process and it took me many, many hours and weeks to do. The average time to edit wedding pictures is between four to six weeks. And uh, I had so many pictures that I had to work with and edit and, and do my crazy stuff to it. Uh, to make them pop out and stuff and this just took me many days and weeks to do <coughs> excuse me um, so I was dealing with that and uh, I just really couldn't take any break from the channel or I couldn't take any breaks from doing that so I was like I'll, I'll have to forget about the channel right now and just move on uh, and get these pictures done so that's one thing uh, then another issue that I was having is that my right shoulder right here I'm cameras reversed right now but my right shoulder uh, been having some issues with that my friends um, one morning I woke up it was really stiff like I couldn't I couldn't get my arm I can only get my arm right at here I couldn't get any further than that and uh, so I was like well what's going on uh, I waited for a few weeks. I was like, yeah, maybe it's just where I slept wrong or something like that. Uh, or, you know, you know, you know how it is. Sometimes you sleep wrong, you, you wake up, you know, you're stiff and stuff like that. Uh, that's how I felt. And uh, finally, I went to the doctor about it. And uh, the doctor's like, you got tendonitis in your right shoulder. Basically, it means that your, your shoulder muscles has sustained an injury or you're doing something constantly over and over with that shoulder and it's weakening your muscles uh, so I've been doing some physical therapy uh, take some medication for it so I've been dealing with that issue right there um, but another thing is that uh, I end up getting a so after all that stuff you know uh, I've been <coughs> excuse me I had a little head cold a few weeks ago no COVID or anything like that uh, nothing like that just a little head cold and still kind of getting over that part right there but another thing that happened my computer that I was doing my videos on I have two computers I have one for my photography one for my RC videos and of course the one that I use for my RC videos that has an editing program on there that I really like using well I started having problems with that computer he didn't want to connect to the internet and stuff like that and I was like, you know what, the money I made from that, from that wedding shoot, I was like, it's time to upgrade and get a new computer. Because I have not 
bought a computer in 15, 20 years. So I was like, you know, it's, it's really time to just upgrade and get a better computer uh, so I can have better software and, and, and everything like that. So, so I went shopping for a new computer and I was totally lost, my friends, because like I said, I've not shopped for a computer in the last 15, 20 years. A lot of things just changed up. I was so lost at getting a, a new computer. Uh, fortunately, there was an Intel representative there who helped me out. And he actually sold me not an Intel computer. He sold me a HP uh, Razer 5, I think it's called Razer 5 or 3. I think it was. Uh, he sent, he sold me, and he's like, "This is actually a better computer for the money." And I was like, "Oh, okay." Uh, so, and I get a new computer, and with that, I have to get a new editing program. All right, and uh, you know, so I was like, "Wow, getting a new editing program that means I had to learn a totally new program." and uh, that was mind boggling for me. So I ended up getting a new editing program. I ended up getting uh, Vegas 17 uh, Pro Edition and uh, I'm in the stages of learning that program. It is very, very advanced and stuff. Uh, I hadn't seen a program this advanced in years because I used to do uh, filmmaking uh, back in the day because my, you know, where I live at the film community was humongous. We have Screen Gem Studios here in uh, Wilmington, and uh, a lot of movies and TV shows were filmed here, like One Tree Hill and stuff like that was filmed uh, here in Wilmington. And uh, so I was really into the film stuff. And then after the the film industry kind of crashed here because North Carolina kind of got a little greedy with uh, the, the film tax and stuff, so they they left the area and now they're trying to get them back to the area because they see that uh, it was a money maker and they were getting thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars out of the movie industry so they're trying to bring that back but get back to the program so I bought this program and I'm still learning it I don't know all the features and everything it's just like a lot different than what I was using uh, the program that I was using on my old computer was the Windows Movie Maker uh, version 6 which was a great editing program very simple very you know user friendly um, it was just a great program really easy to put a film together real quick and get it out there uh, but now that I have a Windows 10 computer that program will not work on that computer so I had to go out and get a new program and so like I said I hadn't bought new computer in 15 years 15 20 years and i hadn't bought an editing software in the last 10 years uh so i got this program i'm i'm learning it uh the first night that i that i started uploading it there uh started playing around with it i was just completely lost like i have no knowledge about what to do and stuff and i need to start watching some videos on how to uh, work that software so that's what I'm facing right now. Um, so, but I definitely, definitely want to get back into the, doing the videos. I just been kind of um, not there yet <laughs> because I've been trying to get this new editing program, trying to learn it so I can make the films and stuff like that. And it's just a lot of things, my friends. So a lot of stuff has gone on in the last uh, uh, month and a half with me with a lot of, you know, you know the shoulder pains that I've been having and uh, work schedule and stuff like that and you hear the wind blowing been having some rain here the last few days um, so yeah just a lot of things been going on uh, another thing that I have been dealing with here in the uh, behind my house is the beaver issue I talked about this a uh, couple about a year ago we had some beavers in the back here uh, in the creek area blocking up the main creek there and I've been battling with those little guys those guys are smart I'm telling you uh, if you ever uh, researched about beavers or know about beavers they are extremely smart animals um, they don't seem smart but they are very very smart but I've been dealing with those guys for the last two two and a half months now uh, we do have a county wildlife uh, expert or wildlife person who uh, 
classifies in beavers and stuff like that, doing the removal, trapping them and stuff like that. So we're waiting for him and he's coming out July 1st, actually. Uh, so that'll be good. Cause uh, right now the creek is backed up. Um, you know, so the main portion of the creek is about another 50 feet back. And uh, they got that blocked up right now. And the little suckers have been starting to build a, uh, a dam right by the park here and uh so i've been going out here every day every afternoon checking it because the beavers are they they really come out at night time to uh to start building their dams that way you know predators are not around and stuff like that but let me switch the camera around for you so here is the dam that these little guys have been putting out here um so like I said, this is right by the park and it's flooded all that area. That's why there's all this green vegetation everywhere it's because the water's feeding up in there and stuff like that. So it is, it's not flooding my park out. Now before I had the, the main entrance going down this path right here. So it would always get flooded. So I've moved it up another three feet or so. And it seems to do all right right there but that is their little dam they keep building right there. See all that stuff right there. And uh, I've been trying to outsmart these little guys. I would come out here, I would tear it down. As you can see, all the uh, grass and mud and sticks that they've been shoving there. Uh, so I ended up taking like a six inch, uh, well, probably about a six foot piece of six inch pipe. I shoved down under, under the water. Uh, got another three inch pipe going there kind of letting that water come out um, they have found a way of clogging up these pipes by having sticks mud and grass and stuff in there and uh like i said i've just been coming out here every day and breaking down the dam so that way the water is flowing because uh <clears throat> if there ain't no water flowing here it's going to be backing up more uh so just this little part right here that i'm doing will help somewhat but uh i mean <laughs> these guys are amazing they're amazing they can stop up something real fast little alligator head there i put that out there just to hope that maybe this will scare them and it worked for like the first maybe two or three nights at work but then they're like oh we we know this is fake so we're gonna go here so that's what i've been dealing with on that part right there so yeah So yeah, my friend, so that is what's been going on with me. Excuse me, and try not to step in, in the mud and stuff like that because it is getting soupy around uh, around this area right here. Um, so yeah, <laughs> but uh, that's, that's what's been going on with me, my friends. Um, just stuff, you know. Um, so yeah, so but I did want to uh, put a video out and talk about what's been going on with me and why I haven't been uploading to the channel and stuff. So, yeah. So, there's my video. I've been wanting to do this for a while and it just with everything that's been going on, work and having, you know, the shoulder issues and <coughs> the new computer and everything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's been a headache. Uh, so, but I am definitely going to be getting back on this channel pumping out some more videos i love doing these videos it is one of the things that i absolutely love doing is making these videos for you guys and for myself and uh so yeah so <sighs> yeah <laughs> but we're getting there i'm getting there and uh ready to come back and, and start knocking out some videos and stuff like that you know so uh so yeah, all right, my friends. Well, I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, thank you for watching. I again, I am sorry that I have not uploaded to the channel. You know, I, you know, like I said, I've been missing it myself, uh, getting out there and doing the videos and stuff, filming my RCs and filming other people's RCs and stuff. But um, you know, 
some things sometimes things doesn't work out the way you want but uh, that's, that's all right you just have to man up and just do it the best as you can so yeah all right my friends so thank y'all again for watching and stay tuned for more videos coming out here soon as soon as i get this program down pat uh and get that thing working so i can start pumping out videos and stuff like that but yeah all right my friends again thank you for watching and i will see y'all later